What does salty mean? Okay. So. Oh, look at that. We cleared out the soldiers' quarters. We do know, though, that in barracks... B, I believe I have a full ass med kit just in case we need it. I don't think we'll need it, but if we do, we know it's there. Now, what else? Uh, there is fuel storage down there and maintenance if we do need more fuel. But now it seems like all we gotta do is go 0477 is the code to what? The code to what? He said the arsenal, but we've been in the arsenal. Okay, maybe it was that one door that had the gas thing on it, or or no, maybe it was the door uh, that led to the little storage area with the dynamite. So let's have a look at our notes. Give me two seconds. Oh, sorry about that. So sorry. Okay. What do we get that's new? Alex Neuer. Neuer's Journal Part 1. 30th of April, 1916. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes there's an old Roman tunnel. There are old Roman tunnels adjacent to our position. They're opening this them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack. As if any attack at this point could be termed surprise. This is a war. We're all always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash of antiquity would liven this place up. I'd certainly... it certainly help keep war off my mind. Help keep my mind up. It'd certainly help keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. 9th of May, 1916. The officers presented me today with a rather unexpected strange gift. Aging texts from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got a word... got word of my interests. I took them, of course, but the truth is, these texts are far too fragile, too valuable, to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. 11th of May, 1916. This morning... Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him a time, but considered him one of my better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I've been going over the texts and have had quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin, or Latinate at least. But what were they writing about? Has What they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from, my, from any era. These texts seem to be of a religious, or at least superstitious, nature. A phrase is repeated to cross into the darkness beyond. And then something about sight. 13th of May, 1916. Haven't slept. Need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they had found a means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed access to what they thought was some other world. One dominated by darkness and ruled by it. I, I don't know. They use words I can't translate. Ruled by something. They claimed that dark... They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters. And that the air there was endlessly alive with the cries of torment and the, and the sickly rattle of souls near death. This is what they were using the tunnels for? For them, it was a doorway into some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories, of blood orgies, of sadistic spirits, of the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then. But then I'm back at this. Noise Journal Part 2. I have spoken to no one of what's written in those texts, I swear it. But now LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that. This might be coincidence. Nor can it accept the alternative. 
I have to tell the others what's written in these texts. Tell them. Warn them. 18th of May, 1916. They've, pub they've punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw, and now Raynard has sent for me. I'm sure I am to be punished as well. We're struck between the Germans in front of us. We're stuck between the Ger Germans in front of us. High command behind us, and some other horrible force that seems to lurk in shadows all around us. I fear we are now truly beyond God's reach. 20th of May, 1916. I've been locked in Delpy's cells for the past two nights. Raynard's punishment for me speaking about the text. Nightmare after nightmare there. Dreams of darkness, seductive darkness, voices there, welcoming me. I returned to my bunk and was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nicolai Faber Holusebic. On and on, they're all hearing things, dreaming things. Night are now spent in the grip of a f of fear that crawls up the spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to LaRue, not La LaRue and me, none dared to speak to the officers, not even Joubert. And worse, raids are beginning again. I'm to go tomorrow night, 23rd of May, 1916. Back from the raid, can't sleep, shells falling, the soles of my boots are worn thin, my feet bloody and blistered, lost too many out there, I feel trapped. 25th of May, two days later. Last night, the entire barracks was awakened by the sounds from the tunnel. Nightly, they grow louder. When I slept, I dreamt of other worlds, of pain wrapped in ecstasy. This morning, where all is ghosts, things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I can find some way to end this, for all our sakes. To Saint Bouffois. Noyer has been telling us of the tunnel text, describing what these tunnels were used for. But I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was in there, in the dark. I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real that when I wake, they wake the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey. Repulsive and yet intoxicating. As I drink, it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal. Sex, blood, flesh. Around me are others. Their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. I know we all serve the same master to the same end. A place in her unending kingdom, immortality. The things I do in these dreams, a terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and twirled that make the charnel pit of the war seem like mere play. I wake horrified, but in the dreams I am elated. The worst part, at the end of the, every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. Oh, this guy's a fucking freak, huh? Holy. Joubert's journal. Patrol debriefing. Odd occurrences last night. S Staff sergeant? What the, what the fuck does that stand for? I don't know. Lambert. Thought dead after his patrol on the 8th. Returned to the barracks in fine health. He carried with him... Uh, Clement. Severely wounded from an explosion. Lambert reports the following. That midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape... Clement, his close friend, snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater, and carried him out. They were spotted, and in the ensuing attack, Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and that he ended up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate's wine blow erratic. Fate's winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. 
recommended a future patrol investigate and make sure we do not open make sure we have not opened up a back door into our own bunker a foreman Stafford we had a pillbox key if you cry pillbox access to me for the day both in possession of a key okay we knew that where is translations so this is Reynard talking to Fournier and Blanchette. LaRue reports that Neuer is the source of the problem. He's going around telling the men that those damn texts contain accounts of pagan rituals performed in those tunnels. Ghastly and wild stories. Now, superstition and rumors are passed around among the men, like in an open flask or a venereal disease. Some even say they've seen the things, ghosts, demons, fairies... Instead of the Angel of Mons, I'm afraid we have the Devils of Posiere. I've called Neuer for reprimanding. I'll make sure it is appropriately severe. Meanwhile, the engineers will continue to dig. The list of the guilty. Sabotage has left the tunnel project in ruins at approximately 23 hours 30 on 2nd of June and... An explosion ripped through the tunnel system. It was quickly determined that explosives were missing from the arsenal, and the explosion was no accident. After a swift investigation, the following soldiers have confessed, confessed to sabotage. Larue, First Class Johannes Nicolai, Toussaint Belfoy, Jean Renoir, and Ozan Zabel. Four of the guilty now rot in the cells awaiting tribunal. The fifth... Toussaint remains unaccounted for. He may have been killed in the blast. I believe there are no others involving. I believe there are no others involved, but as of yet, no one will say anything. Worse than double agents, these men are coward, cowards. They scream about ghosts and demons and other worlds. They claim they committed this act of treason to save their fellow soldiers from hell. Utter nonsense. We're still working to clear the tunnel site and assess the damage. But I fear that any hope of using them for our purposes is now lost. In addition, the explosions, the explosion has caused other structural damage to the bunker itself. Flooding is now occurring in various areas. Update on prisoner. Update on prisoner number 73014. With the rest of the cells empty, I've begun a program of aggressive inter interrogation. I hope the screams have not kept you awake. He continues to insist that he is a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform, and that he knows nothing of the Second Army's plans. I do not believe him. I've ordered rations for the next three days. When he's fed, I assume his gratitude will loosen his tongue. A final note. This work would be much easier if the officer wine rations were loosened. I'll say. Marcel. The officers have fled. The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit behind them. Even Joubert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse, hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now, it is on them. God will punish them for what they've done. Joke's on you. Ha <laughs> ha. Tremblay. Faber dies. Faber is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess, and it burst from the shadows right behind Boy Strom. But Farber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it! Hit it! Dead on! The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead, but then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Have to move now, or we'll all suffer his fate. Ozane. Note to Faber. I was there when they pulled your friend Noyer from the tunnels. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher, he was still trying to scream. But all that came out was a horrible rasp. <gasps> all the engineers have seen things down there. Myself included. We should talk. You and I. About what is to be done. Let me know when, Ozane. Fuck, that was a lot of notes. Holy. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Dynamite. Locked in the arsenal. Detonator handles. Somewhere down in the Roman tunnels. Deeper in hell. Where the fuck are the Roman tunnels? 
it's got to be down in the arsenal, right? Because we... Is there some ship breathing there? There's some ship breathing around me. We got some ship breathing here that showed me breathing. Why are you breathing? All right. Let us... No... Get the fuck out of here. No electricity in hand. Uh, shit. Hang on a minute. God damn it. Where the fuck are these Roman tunnels? And you stupid rat! Alright, you know what? Come here. Come here. Come on, asshole. Here I am. Follow me. Come on, come get a bite. Oh, you got friends? You all, your friends want a bite too? You should get them over here. Fucking shut up. Alright. Uh, so we bang a left out of here and just go straight down. Alright, easy enough. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was the code? Uh, Arsenal code 0477 for low. I don't know why we have his code. He doesn't have a locker, but that's fine. Arsenal code 0477. 0477, let's go. Gonna want that fuel. I'm in a terrible spot right now. Fuck! I'm so fucked. Please don't come this way. Ah! <laughs> Shit, I thought he was behind the bars! Oh my god! Fucking take me, you piece of shit! Oh, fuck! Ah! Bitch! Shot him three times before he backed off. Um, do I need to... Ah, uh, no. Okay. Let's drop... Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Put it in the storage, and then we'll put that there as well. So we got three open spots. Fuck you, rats. I know you're right goddamn there. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try to run it this quick without... Um... Oh, to the tunnels. Okay, so that's the Roman tunnels. Right the fuck there. Okay. To storage. How do we get all the way back there? 
Okay, let's do this. O four seven seven. That's a nice little hole in the wall. Nothing. Of course, there's fucking rats everywhere. We might be okay. Let's get the fuel. Alright, quick run back. We got all this fuel. Let's throw it in the box. Oh my god, this guy's a dickhead. Ooh, look at all our goodies. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. What else can we do here? My god, okay, hang on. Stick, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Out of my way. Nothing. Is there just nothing down here? Pocket bag, yes! Fuck yes, that's really good. And more fuel. He's coming out to play. Fuck me. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Hide under some tables. Oh, please go away. I don't know where I am, but please go away. I don't hear him. Did he go away? get over there Uh 
Oh shit! Fuck! Damn it! Son of a bitch! That's bad. Fuck, that's bad. God damn it, I didn't see that. Ah! Let's use this while we're here. Feel so trapped, so very trapped. No new notes? What is that up there? Oh, Jesus. Please don't open that door. You already know if he opens that door, the fucking rats are gonna come pouring in. Did he just explode some shit on himself? I got the dynamite, boys. Because if he did, he's probably gone. What can I drop? this uh but it's more fuel all right let's drop the torch fuck it uh. and we got the dino mite let's get the fuck out of here oh shit what's this All right, dude. Fucking take it easy. All right, let's go. Ah, shit. Uh, nope, dude. I swear, if it's the rats, if the rats are the reason I can't goddamn get out of here. Brother, if you come anywhere near me, I will shoot. Oh my god. F fucking rats! Oh, he's in there. He's bumbling around in there. fuel there. Don't, don't. Fucking off now. Okay. Please let me out of here. Yes, yes, yes. Run away! 
Very good. Close the... Clo close the door. Close the door. Oh my god. Woo! Holy shit. Wasn't sure if I'd make it out of there. We got the dynamite. Fuck yeah. And another torch. I'll take one of these bad Larrys out. Because we're hurting pretty bad here. Well... Do we need a full one of those, or can I just use a bandage? <sighs> oh my god, I like her. Hot diggity dog. That some bitch is full. Will a petrol bomb open a door? We're gonna test that. We're gonna test that right now. Let's bring a flare with us too. So why the fuck not? Alright. Petrol bomb. You number four. Uh no power. Don't need it yet. Excuse me. Quick save. Go. Please go faster! Please go faster! Oh my god, we're we're gone. Yes, sir, we are fucking gone. No thanks. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna sit way back here and hopefully never see you again. Did the petrol bomb work? Didn't work. Fuck. Son of a... Bungus. All I want... Is that... God damn map. Where you at there, big boy? Is that... Is that fuel? Don't care. Ah! Fuck. 
Fuck it. I'm using a bullet for it. I don't care. Ah! Oh my god! Let me hide under the bed! Let me hide under the bed! Let me hide under the bed! Oh fuck! Hi. Ah. Shit. Oh, this guy's a real son of a bitch. I need to open that fucking door, and I don't know how. What if I used a petrol bomb on that gas thing after I shot it? I don't know, man. Fuck. What is heavy enough to open a goddamn door? Mm. No grenades. All right, fuck it. I found a grenade somewhere in the soldiers' quarters. So I'm going back for it. I need it. Oh, fuck off. Open. Thank you. I need that. I need that grenade. I don't know where the fuck it was, but... Security? I'll take that. No, 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 no! Communications. No. No, 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 no. That's some meat. Fuck, where was that? <coughs> Medkit. I don't really need it. Utility, maybe? Is it all the way in there? Man, that would kind of suck. What's this? What's all this? Photo? Shit. Big boy's coming out to play! Let's get the fuck out of here! Gas grenade. <laughs> Don't come in here. Oh, fuck me. Whatever you do, don't come in here. Oh my god. I think he's coming in here. No? He's coming right back.
Oh shit. Jesus. Okay. Can hear him walking away. Why does it keep sounding like he's walking away? He's right there. He's right there! Shit in my way! What the fuck? Where did he go? Oh my god! Did he run off? Where's that grenade? Oh, come on, man. I need that grenade like nothing else right now. Please. Where are you? Where are you? You beautiful explosive. Where the fuck are you? I really need you now. In here? No. Fucking. Come on. Fucking rats. Go away. All of you. Fuck off. Where's this fucking thing? Definitely not in here. No? Okay, that's loud. Fuck off! Seriously, Jesus. You're the fucking worst. Go away. Fucking meat. Eat some meat that ain't mine. Mm. Am I stupid or was it in fucking soldiers' quarters somewhere? So I sure as hell ain't seen it anywhere. Jesus. This is one of the, in them one one of them little little metal containers. Pocket bag? Is that a pocket thing? Fuck. What 
What is a pocket bag? Shit, yeah. That's really good. Fuck off! What? Dude, I just hit you with the flames. Oh my god, okay. Oh, of course. All right, fuck you. Jesus. <gasps> Who has all the grenades in their thing? Is it Clement? No, I already opened that one. I got somebody's code. Bardeen 1657. Boucher Bardeen. 1 6 5 7. Bullets and a bandage. Not the best. Get the fuck out of my way. Uh, let's use this bandage now. Man, I need to open that goddamn door somehow. I don't know how. Um. We searched like all the soldiers' quarters. We could couldn't find that grenade that we found before. All right, fuck it. Let me try one more thing. One more thing. Okay. We're gonna save. We're gonna go down to that, uh, arsenal there. Make sure I got everything I need. I got a petrol bomb, I got a gun with a bullet. And that's all we need. Okay, so, here's what I'm gonna do. It looks like when you shoot that little gas tank... Uh, it looks like some gas starts leaking out. So... Fuck off. What I'm gonna do... Okay. Let's try it, let's try it. Let's throw the petrol bomb. Take the pistol, shoot the gas. Dude, it's gas fucking f surrounded in flames! Why is this not- what? <laughs> I don't get it, guys. I really don't get it. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do there. If shooting a gas tank... And then shooting a gas tank and throwing a fucking petrol bomb... On top of the gas that's leaking out... Doesn't... Make any sort of explosion... Then I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm kinda... Kinda at a loss here.
can't believe that didn't work. Nothing. Alrighty then. Uh, we get any more notes? Any more notes? Any more notes? Fabia. Gathering of the willing. 28th of May, 1916, after what happened with Noyer, after how Reynard and Fournier treated him and LaRue, there's only one way forward for us. I've gathered men I could trust. Propose to them what we will do. To a man, all of them are millet. To a man, all of them are were willing. It was such a relief. T seemed eager to go. The poor man. I hear him at night, muttering in rhymes, trying to comfort himself. For his sake, for all our sakes, this nightmare must stop. Late now on the 14th of June, the nightmares have stopped. We no longer hear those sounds. But now I am plagued by worse nightmares. My fellow saboteurs were all caught. Delpy and Reynard torture them even now. And yet none of them have turned me in. I alone have escaped punishment. The honor among these men, my brothers, I'm not worthy of it. It haunts me. The guilt of it. I, I know they will be court-martialed. Maybe even put to death, and here I am. My consolation? The war will punish me, as it punishes us all. And I will remain vigilant, lest whatever darkness lurks in those tunnels returns. Alright. Was that the guy that was, like, missing? They said they caught all the saboteurs? Except for one? No? Maybe that's the one? <laughs>